You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible Jeremiah's Second Confession In chapter 15, verses 10 to 21 This confession is also a dialogue with speech by Jeremiah in the first person and replies by Yahweh though it begins as a soliloquy Jeremiah is addressing himself at the start but after a response by Yahweh addressed to Jeremiah the rest of the speeches are addressed to Yahweh notice the messenger formulae in 1511 and 1519 marking these speeches this confession has a less strongly marked narrative character than the earlier passage that we looked at but the dialogue form really isn't common in the Psalms let's look at how the passage presents Jeremiah and his God Yahweh it starts straightforwardly in verse 10 with a brief lament that the speaker has ever been born and an implied complaint about the rather monotone nature of the message he's been given to deliver this together with an assertion of his righteousness in fiscal matters makes this opening verse read rather like a typical example of a lament psalm though very brief however Yahweh's response in verses 11 to 14 which at first perhaps addresses Jeremiah's complaint though I find it interesting that the translators of the NET Bible felt the need to explicitly address these words to Jerusalem either way it very quickly segues into a warning to the land and its people in this this second confession is like the first it links the prophet and the fate of the nation taking those two linkages together we've got a strong cue that the confessions are not meant to be read as merely personal dialogues with God but as part of the much larger theological and political picture of the book as a whole after this first divine response the speaker then pleads to be spared this general disaster that he's talking about claiming to have been the faithful messenger in verses 15 to 16 and to have endured trouble and pain as a result in verses 17 to 18 beginning and then complains that Yahweh by contrast has been unfaithful to him he calls Yahweh a liar and compares him to waters that fail which makes a really interesting calling to mind of the cracked cisterns that Judah had been resorting to in chapter 2 verse 13 so by implication suggesting that Yahweh is no better than an idol how will God respond to this challenge the beginning of his reply sounds like a call to Judah if you return I will return my presence to you and you will stand if you distinguish what is precious from what is worthless however the end of the verse contrasting you and them makes it clear that it is applied to Jeremiah though once again note how the destinies of the prophet and the nation are intertwined the tone of Yahweh's reply implies that Jeremiah's earlier complaints have been a dereliction of duty verse 19 while verses 20 to 21 echo the promises of Jeremiah's call and promise that if he does indeed return then Yahweh will strengthen him and even deliver him from his enemies verse 20 for this second confession the end of the passage is quite clear remember I suggested that for the first it was very unclear where we should stop reading but this time 16 1 marks a very clear new beginning the word of Yahweh came to me again so we've got a neat little passage it's a dialogue but what's its overall impact on the reader maybe that overall impact is as a confession of Jeremiah's faith in his God but the rhetorical stance of the speaker of the text is rather quite clearly complaining to and about God so here we really begin to notice that the interplay of speakers and their attitudes is complicated and interesting the rhetorical effect may not simply reproduce the attitude attributed by the writer to the implied speaker of the prophet's part Jeremiah and we'll explore this richness more as we look at others in this series of confessions oh they are fun texts to read but challenging
Anyway, I'll return with more on these confessions next time. God bless.